Lux Army and Cyberlux family, welcome back to the channel. I will be talking about some of the important updates on ticker symbol CYBL. The stock is trading at 0.37, but do not sleep on it because there is a ton and massive momentum that is going to come up for Cyberlux because there are two big catalysts coming up for Cyberlux, and I really want to share this information with you. If you take a look, Cyberlux, it has been steady around 37 and 43. As you can see, for last five days, the stock is up. 24% but for penny stocks this is what we expect and many times it's risk versus reward so do your own due diligence research in this video I'll be covering the updates that Cyberlux shared with us around one of the key executive hire that they are a consultant rather that Cyberlux is looking to have them on their team the second thing we'll talk about live Q&A and we'll also talk about two big catalysts that are coming up for Cyberlux that can spike the stock price up above the 650 level that we see See, we have seen in the past in general the stocks stock is stable lots of penny stocks are sideways and cyberlux is not an exception if you take a look at many other stocks including ILS, cyberlux and many other penny stocks they are sideways right now the nasdaq and dow jones are also kind of stable there is not much going on but that's when conviction matters the most we are going to talk about what cyberlux is all about while they are preparing themselves for a next big run up there is a ton going on so let's just dive jump into it i want to say do your part and click on the like button because your like is very much appreciated if you click the like button youtube algorithm will share this video with more and more people we can share more and more stuff out we can share the word out on cyberlux corporation and we can help the community out as well many people do not really know about cyberlux i'll be sharing why the stock is sideway one of the reason why the stock is sideway we'll look into the moving average we'll look into their uh, volume as well and volume is one of the big factor i believe for both cyberlux and ILS, the stock is sideways or rather it is on the bearish territory at the moment let's take a look what's going on with the stock and right now as you can see it is 51 percent 52 percent of the average volume the volume is 71.16 million if you take a look at the average volume for 65 days it's 138 million consistently cyberlux is cut in half in terms of the volume take a look 158 million volume on october 20th and it cut in half or one third rather it went to 52 on october 21st and yesterday october 22nd the volume was 66 million so now what we want to see in 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 penny stock is pretty nice little healthy volume if you take a look it was a half a billion volume on october 6th cut in half 239 million and this is going to happen but what what we don't want to forget is the fundamental of the company has not changed regardless of the volume yes buzz is a thing and you want to make sure that you are bought into the buzz as well if you take a look at cyberlux's stock quits we are seeing 9400 watchers it's a big big watcher for such a small penny stock if you take a look at the message volume it is consolidated around 15 1600 right now yes it is not all the way it's peak and it is going to come up whenever it starts shooting up when we saw back in the days when it started going up we saw more and more buzz about it so they are working with each other right now what we are seeing is lower volume lower buzz and the stock is sideways but you want to remember that it has a strong community right now we are seeing 7600 plus followers on their twitter handle we have some great updates that i want to share with you one of the big business update that cyberlux shared with us by the way i'll be sharing two big catalysts coming up for cyberlux as well so watch the full video if you own cyberlux you really want to watch this video so you can make yourself educated about what's going on with cyberlux and you can make informed financial decision this video is only for the entertainment purpose so do your own Due diligence cyberlux and many other penny stock that we talk on this channel are a riskier investment it's a risk versus reward play you can make a ton of money on the flip side you can lose them as well so do not invest the money that you are not willing to lose or something that wakes you up at night what you want to remember here is cyberlux mentioned that we are excited to have a retired very high level government official with 40 years of uh, dc uh, experience so this is the capital washington dc they're talking about if i remember if i if I understand this correct, joining as a consultant. Now, executive experience in the Commerce, Energy, Treasury, and State Department, White House, and DOJ, Department of Justice, 
federal agencies details next week now why this is very important remember we have been talking about what cyberlux does and what they're great at it the led solution and they're 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 the contractor or supporter of the a lot of uh, DOD, Department of Defense, and they have been supporting the uh, U.S. Army, National Guard, so on and so forth, many departments. They have vertical relationship with all these agencies. What they need to do is they want to expand themselves and add all the agencies and start selling that product. They have the great product that, they, that can help and support DOD, but it's all about marketing. It's all about getting the word out. It's all about building the relationship and also make sure that they have every single agency within their book of of business so that's precisely what they have been doing and I have been covering on my channel that this is the really this is the really key takeaway from what we have seen for the business on CYBL Cyberlux one of the other update that I want to share with you is uh, by the way this is the update I wanted to share and it really quickly uh, became pretty popular if you can take a look on on Twitter there are a ton of people expressing their happiness and they're sharing that this is going to be one of the very impactful news for Cyberlux and its future. Another thing that I want to share with you is Cyberlux is going to uh, do the YouTube Q&A. So we will be posting our first YouTube Q&A very soon. So basically they'll be taking answers, uh, questions, and they'll be sharing answers, and they'll be more of a discussion the same way what we saw for ILS. And we would like to have your questions, so please send them ir underscore cybl at cyberlux.com. Thank you, and we'll have more news coming up as noted last week. So we love our shareholders. So what I'm expecting with this tag is they really want to share some of the updates around their share uh, structure or what they are thinking because remember we talked about how they uh, made sure that authorized shares that they had are restructured we may hear more on that as well they want to share some updates on operational alpha and the growth now what this precisely means is by the way if you really want to send questions use this email address ir underscore cybl at cyberlux.com and your questions will be part of the q a which is once again a great thing so if you have burning questions shoot an email to this email address and this is really good we have seen what happened with the ILAS. when they did q a they also shared their ambition now we don't don't really know Cyberlux's management because there are not many people from Cyberlux are, are talking out loud in public. Now, once we have this YouTube Q&A, we are going to feel the personality, their ambition, how they're working and what the goal and what are the key projections and how they're planning to accomplish them. So this is the another tweet that I wanted to share with you. This is an official update. Remember what we have talked about in terms of the revenue? This is one of the big thing that Cyberlux business unit forecast. They have divided their business into four major divisions including the flight ius solution advanced lighting solution its one of the big big business unit within uh, cybl infrastructure technology solutions and last one is infrastructure so software solution saas now if you remember that they talked about they will be doing more than five million dollar worth of revenue and they're they're pretty strong and consistent about what they talked about they're expecting 5.2 million worth of revenue now next year they're expecting 30.4 30 million plus dollar in revenue just next year so what that means is they're expecting 15 million dollars in revenue in just in q1 which is super 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 important in the first half they, they're they're talking about let's say if they're doing 30 million dollar in revenue next year we will start seeing that they do five to six million dollar revenue every single quarter which is the revenue for the total for 2021 now remember what can happen if the revenue can go 4x 5x 6x if you if you think about five times six is 30 so if, if the revenue goes from 5 million to 30 million that means their profitability will be higher as well now we have seen consistently more revenue makes the make sure that the company is pretty stable healthy in terms of their cash and balance sheet that is exactly that could exactly happen with cyberlux as well and this the the impact on the stock prices we have already seen what happened with ILAS and I've been talking about a ton that Cyberlux could be next to ILAS I'm not saying that we remember remember what we talked about that ILAS can go to four or five dollars I'm not saying Cyberlux 
can go to four or five dollars all i'm trying to say at this point is from four or five cents cyberlux has potential to go to 35 40 45 or even 50 cents so that's a 10x return and that's what precisely i'm talking about when i say cyberlux is the next eyeless so we can expect this explosive revenue next year that can bring this 30 million dollar revenue mark for cyberlux next year now one more thing that you also want to remember that cyberlux already shared their ambition of being a 100 million dollar revenue company what that means is cyberlux could be a billion dollar valuation as well now remember what happens if there is a billion dollar valuation if they work on their stocks so on and so forth the stock can the stock the stock can the stock price rather can skyrocket and it can start hitting newer highs we have seen six and a half cents at the moment it, it can easily go to 10 cents 20 cents 30 cents 40 cents depends upon what exactly the company can share in terms of the stock restructuring as well as if they, if they keep the momentum up with the revenue that they are projecting right now that's a massive revenue the they are doing they are expecting to do three times the revenue just by the flight i uas solution in the first half of 2022 just within one business unit their business unit infrastructure technology solutions its 7.6 million sounds pretty pretty promising what they're trying to do is they're building the business and this could be nasdaq worthy i wouldn't be surprised if they shared the information that yes they want to do the uplisting on nasdaq very similar way when islas told us that remember what happened the, uh, the islas skyrocketed from 10 15 cents to 20 25 cents and that's precisely what can happen with cyberlux as well yet they have not said that they are looking forward for uplisting a nasdaq so that's one of the things that you want to remember while the stock is around four cents we are seeing the short volume ratio of 54 14. In my opinion, this uh, deep or this bearish momentum is not caused by the short sellers. I do not believe that this is on the target for short sell. CYBL is on short sellers target. Right now, we have seen the volume 53.1 million, which is once again a lower volume. We have seen 155 million volume just before a day on 20th of October. And right the next day, we saw the volume was cut in two thirds. So the volume is only 33%. Then the previous day we saw that 28.7 million is the short volume what you want to don't know is right here the volume we already talked about is going down but at the same time the moving average is also going down remember the moving average was 39039 and the moving average went to 371 which also puts cyberlux in a bearish momentum at the moment but these are penny stocks that can spike up just on a news or some of the updates that we get two two catalysts that you want to remember one is the youtube q a that is going to spark some great great positive momentum into the stock price because they can share some of the information that they have not yet they may also share their ambition to get listed on nasdaq as well they can also share some of the updates around their as uh, so authorized stocks and other stock restructuring plans if they have because they were looking into it as well third thing is in institutional buyers that they can talk about that some of the in institutional buyers are buyers are invested in investing in cyberlux and the second thing the second catalyst is big as well their earning when they are going to announce their earning we're waiting to hear uh, on the expense front as well so what we are looking forward is the profitability of the company if the company can come up with uh, really really juicy juicy and important numbers it's going to skyrocket the stock price as well so you want to consider all this now all i'm trying to say is the fundamental has not changed the company has not changed what changed is the sentiment and the sentiment can come back when we start seeing more momentum into the market as all as penny stock market as well and especially when the cyberlux and other companies of their size start sharing their earning report so i just wanted to share this information with you hope you like this do your part click on the like button subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video and happy investing in cyberlux